Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And this week I have to start out by apologizing for um the format this week. I lost the audio for the episode. So I've had to edit the episode um with no sound and then do a voiceover, which is very different to what I usually do. So um we start off by making the still steel drill head and three augers as part of the quest line one of the quest lines we made the drill at the end of the last episode and we tested it out and it's it's pretty cool it it, it the durability goes down very slowly and um it seems to be able to mine a lot of things i really like it so i make the steel drill head which needs a block of steel so two blocks of steel and some steel ingots. So it's um it's a bit time consuming. The augers also need more steel, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. But the the augers need stuff as well. It could be steel. And um so it can get a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. Yeah, the augers need steel. But it is definitely worth it because um, they bring up the the attack speed on the mining drill. Although I'm not 100% sure on how they do this. I will have to do a bit of um, research to find out exactly what they do. And also I am... Let's see, what am I doing here? I'm making the augers. You need three of them. I th At first I thought I just needed one, but I needed three. So um, I head over to the work table to put it all together. And it's quite easy, actually. You just put the drill in the top right-hand corner. And you can swap out the, the drill bit. And as you can see, there's not much durability gone from it. You can stack up to three augers in the slot there. And it took me a little bit of time to work out um, how to see the attack speed and so on. I kept looking at the drill bit, the drill head, instead of looking at the actual completed drill. Which, now looking back, seems a bit stupid. But um, at the time, I it did kind of baffle me for a bit. But you can see the durability and the attack speed, and it's... It's quite, the attack speed is 11. It goes up from 8 to 11. So that's pretty cool. So I will be using that in between lesson, lessons, in between episodes, in order to see what we can mine, because now mining is going to be a bit more fun. And as you can see, it has a really cool animation. I do like that animation. The next part of the quest book, I'm looking at getting hop graphite ingots. And um, I know you have to get something and crush something and something. <laughs> I don't know very much about it. But we need the arc furnace. We need to make the arc furnace, but it needs graphite electrodes in order to make the arc furnace work. So in order to get the graphite electrodes, you have to make the hop graphite ingots. So um, that baffled me for quite a bit. I really wasn't sure what I needed to get. Um, I started to make the presser because I thought, well, if we have to crush the, if we have, you know, if we just make the, the ingots, press them into ingots, we'll probably need the presser. So I had the the um, projector for the presser and I also had the components sitting in, diff variants, uh, in various chests. 
so I decided well we need to put that together so at least I could try to see if I can press the ingots if that's what I would need to press the ingots into um, the dust into ingots I should say As you can see I'm just taking out all the, the stuff that I need in order to make the presso. Well, like I said I had most of it lying around anyway. And the projector just shows me everything that I need. So I'm just sorting out my hotbar. So I had everything there to hand and I didn't have to keep faffing around trying to find the various bits and pieces that I needed. So when you put down the projection, when you hold the projection in your hand, it will show you the um, the blocks that you need. When you have the correct block in your hand, the outline will appear as white. But then if you don't put it in correctly, or you put it in, yeah, if you don't put it in correctly or you have the wrong block, then the outline will be red. So the piston that I'm trying to put in at the moment, it's, um, it's orange orientating the wrong way it should be face down so because even though it's in it's the correct thing because it's not face down the outline is showing as red so I have to break it in order to pick it back up and then put it back down properly and to rotate it I just use the mine the engineer's hammer and of course I've put it in the wrong place and again it's got the red outline around it to show that it's not the correct thing. But I have to admit seeing the, the, the projection of the conveyor belt kind of confused me because I kind of expected that I would jump on and um, start moving because of the conveyor belt. But of course there is no conveyor belt because we haven't put it down yet. So that is in the correct position. So the outline disappears and we need the other conveyor belt and that's good. And we need a, a light engineering block, I think it is, on top. Oh, it's a heavy engineering block on top. And then you right click with the metal press, not the metal press, you right click with the engineering hammer and it transformed into the metal press. So the um, power input is on the top. So I just run a power cable an LV power cable from the relay above the door to the top of the machine. I'm using the wire cutters to cut the the wires that way I don't have to break the connector and everything else. I can just if I need if I needed to I could just take off the wire which is very handy because before I was breaking the connection to get the wire back. But I took the connection off the um, advanced coke machine because we didn't need it. I mean, we haven't used it. Basically, it's there to make steel, but we have an easier way to make steel. So, um, so yeah. So we just put the connection to good use and it's working you can see powers going through it going to it I should say but um yeah I was trying to see if there was some kind of ingot press I thought I had an ingot press so I'm here looking for what presses I have there's a plate press and there's a wire press and when you look in JEI there's other presses but there's no ingot press so um that kind of blew that idea out of the out of the window. I honestly thought I would just need the presser to make our ingot. When I have a look through um, to see how you make 
the hot graphite ingot. I see you need the dust, but it says you get the dust from the ingot. And you can also put the dust into the crusher. And it says you can put dust into the industrial squeezer. So I go ahead, because so, it says you need coke dust, which I then start going around to see if I could find any. And um, I go to, we've got some iron in there, but no coke dust. I did find some coal coke in a chest and I put it into the industrial squeezer, but it didn't seem to, because that, um, that slot in front was where it's been taken the hemp seeds from, but it didn't do anything with the coal coke. Although now I'm thinking about it, I probably need to make it into dust. I don't know. I may have tried that. I I can't remember now. You see, it says that you need the coke dust. Yes, I think that's where I, I realised my my mistake. That it, it wasn't that you put the coal coke there. You need to put in the coal dust and I need to make the crusher. So I put everything back and turn around to make yet another engine. I can see why they want you to make a... Um, that they want you to make a factory and a large space because you need somewhere to put all these machines and after putting up the crusher yesterday I'm seriously wondering if I have enough space or if I have to make my factory bigger so I'm just making the last few things that I need for the uh, crusher I had made all of the ingredients before but they've been used in various other things because as you probably remember, a lot of the quests um, were completed because a lot of the ingredients were the same. So I couldn't, you know, so, even, so I might have done one quest and then three other quests would complete because they all used the same ingredients. So I did turn around and make the crusher once but it was facing the wrong way. I couldn't get the power to it. So then I had to take it apart, turn it around and flip it so that the front was facing um, the other machines, the industrial squeezer and the fermenter and the refinery, because before it was facing the other way towards the, um, towards deeper into the, into the workspace. So um, that was fun. At least I kind of knew what I needed to do. It just took me a, quite a while to flip the image in my head and make sure that I had, I had everything. So, um, so yeah, it, there was a lot of me putting everything down, checking the book, making sure that I had everything and that I had it in the right position because before I when it when I put it down like I said it was in the wrong direction so now I had to flip that around in my head and it was it was a bit of a struggle but I did get it I made I managed to put it down quicker than I did the first time and it didn't take me as long to validate the multi-block either because there is a particular block you need to click on to validate it. You can't just validate it anywhere. So that is something that you might run into when you are building the crusher. You do have to find that sweet spot. Um, I think it is... Oh, I can't remember where it is now. I think it might be the redstone block. I'm not 100% on that, but it is. it did involve me going around and clicking various places to see if I could find where that sweet spot was because it doesn't tell you where to right click it just says oh well you need the panel on the front and of course if you're looking at something like this you're not really going to know where the panel on the front is there's nothing really to say well you know this is the front of the machine I did try using the projector because we did have a projector but I couldn't get the image flipped on the projector. I know there is a way 
to flip it while you're seeing it. But um but yeah, I couldn't I couldn't get that done. It kept saying that it was it was flipped round the other way. So um so yeah, so that's when I decided I might as well just try and flip it manually in my brain, put down everything, and then um try and get it to work. So yeah, using the projector would have been a whole lot easier because you have the outlines of everything that you need. And this way it this doing it this way, it was kind of like having to stop to look at the book every couple of minutes to make sure that I had everything in the right place and that I hadn't left anything out. Because I did end up with um I think one of the scaffolding either the scaffolding or one of the um the engineering blocks and I wasn't quite sure how I ended up with an extra one so that did baffle me for a little bit but like I said I did manage to get the crusher to work I got it validated and um, it's a very impressive machine I have to admit and you have to remember you don't go anywhere near the top when it is operational because you will die so it probably makes a good um, mob processor if you were so in so inclined to make a mob factory, that might be a good way to to get rid of them, get them to spawn on top. Maybe put carpet or something on top. Oh no, but I don't think entities can spawn on carpet, can they? I don't know how you would do it, but it might be kind of fun to um to get rid of your or get rid of mobs that way around. So here I'm just putting on the finishing touches. And um, I'm not quite sure why I stopped there. I was probably checking something, but um, but yeah, I'm checking the book yet again to make sure. I think that's probably when I realised I had an extra engineering block, and I was trying to work out if I'd missed out anything. Because with these diagrams, it is even though they're animated, and they're showing everything going in, it's still easy to miss things. So, yeah, I probably realised I had an extra block and I was trying to make sure that I hadn't um, left out anything. So, yeah, I'm now trying to see where, should I, where do I need to click to validate it. And also, if I'd missed out anything. Mm. Yeah, it did take me a long time to work out. Have I left out anything? I don't think I've left out anything. Why do I have an extra block? But um, I think I probably just started off with an extra block. I don't know. Although I think it tells you 10 in the book, but you end up using 9. Because I'm now counting them to make sure that they're all there. I think that's where the confusion arose, because the book does tell you 10. But when you put them all down, it, there's 9 of them. So it was a bit kind of like, okay, have I seriously left out something? But it seems like I hadn't left out anything. But I had left out something. Okay, disregard all of that. I did leave out something. <laughs> but yeah, I did find the sweet spot. I validated it first try, which is brilliant. And it looks like I did click on the redstone block. Um... I can't remember where I got that gem from. It could have been Valen, the Mischief of Mice. His stuff is really good. He goes um, in depth into various mods and he explains them extremely well. And um, I believe he said that you need to, it's usually you right click on the redstone block to validate things. So now we have it up and running. Um, I need a way of getting things in. 
at least quickly. So I'm putting up the, um, the scaffolding so that I can climb up and easily put things in. And of course, I'm not a basketball player, so you'll see me trying and failing <laughs> to get... Oh, I didn't have the cold coke on me. I needed to go back and get the cold coke, and then I try and fail repeatedly to get um, to get stuff on, to get stuff in. I also thought I needed to make a lever. I'm not sh um yeah, I wasn't sure if it needed a lever, so I went and got it, just in case. But I don't think you do need a lever. And even if you do, where would you put it? There's no, there's no way really you can put it. But I put it on, and I don't think you actually need it. Because this is where my, my throwing skills are absolutely rubbish. But the animations are cool. I have to admit, for, Im for immersive engineering, the animations are all very cool. But once it crushes, it comes out of that hole in the bottom, so I'd have to put a chest there or something to collect everything. And I'm wondering if I could input from the other side. So this time round, I'm getting more things in. And as you can see, the stuff is coming out at the bottom. And I'm realizing that I need to put my, my cursor up in the air a little bit and then throw it. So like you're throwing as if you're throwing past it and then it will go into it. But I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to oh, I didn't want to fall in and get killed. So we have we have some um coke dust. And we now have to try and turn it into ingots. I'm just checking to see what I need to do. I said you can smelt it in the furnace. So I went to do that, but it didn't work for some reason. Unless it needs to, needs to be a normal furnace powered by coal rather than the electric heater but it didn't work that is a furnace because it yeah because it says you can crush it in the in the pulvis and then also you make the ingots in the arc furnace but that's what we're trying to make so I was kind of, okay, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So I did go back in to check and see if there was, if I'd missed out stuff in the text, because that has happened before where stuff has been explained in the text and I've just glossed it over completely. But it doesn't seem like I have. So we go back to the industrial squeezer and see if I could do that instead. And I'm just waiting for it to um to to smelt up. Well not smelt up, but it's you can see the little bar in the background. I was waiting for that to get to the end, but nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. So that kind of baffles me. Mm. 
and um, I realize I'm going to have to go off and um, do some more research on it because I was kind of hoping that I would have been okay and I would have been able to figure it out but unfortunately I can't figure it out and again I go back to the press to see if I if that's what I need to do and as usual my throwing skills are absolutely dismal but it just stays there so that means nothing's gonna happen because if it was going to press or what well, if something was going to happen it would have gone through and then you get a cool animation in the middle so that wasn't working and I just made sure that I hadn't flipped that it didn't need the lever or anything that it did you know although I didn't put that lever there that lever was already on it which would say to me that if I needed a lever to turn something on and off it might be already be on there because I certainly didn't put that there so um so yes yeah, so I'm pretty much out of ideas at this point and I'm realizing I need to go and look up what I need to do because I don't know <laughs> I really don't know which seems to be the theme of this theme of this mod pack I don't know thanks everyone for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I'll see you in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye